Hi guys, this is Smart Physics Tutorial for the Loop Torque. And you can read the question in the description below. Okay, we have um, a square loop and it's with an angle, it's in the magnetic field, and the magnetic field is um, parallel to the x axis. And the loop make a, an angle of 30 degrees with the um, with the x-axis. Okay. <clears throat> so they're telling us that there is um, a mass is hung from one side of the loop. It's either C or D. It's in the middle of this. And we need to find what is the mass, what is the value of the mass if the loop is in equilibrium now. Okay, so if the, it's in equilibrium, that means that the torque from the magnetic field, torque B, equal torque from the mass. Okay, but in different direction. Um, okay, so let's draw this. Right. Right, so if the current is going this way, then that means the magnetic f the um, magnetic dipole, which is the, the torque from the uh, magnetic field, is U cross B. Okay, and the dipole moment you cross your fingers with the current around it. So if this was a circle, like this kind of circle, this is the um, current. So just curl your fingers with the direction of the current, and the dipole moment will. Um, this will give you the direction of the dipole moment. Alright, so cross your fingers with it. Dipole moment is going um, this way. Cool, this dipole moment. Alright, here is the B. B is going this way. So um, U cross B is in the Z minus direction. Okay. So this is in the minus C. So in order to this to be in equilibrium, we need the other torque to be pointing in the Z plus. So if we said that, let's see if, if the mass will be here. All right, so this is Mg. And the torque from the mass will be R cross F. Okay, lower arm. All right, so the R is pointing this way. This is the R, so this is the R. So R cross the F, F is going down. So R cross F, it's going to Z minus, which we don't want, All right? So let's see if it's gonna be here. Same thing, this is R vector. So R cross V, it's going up in the positive Z axis. Okay, so the mass will be here. Okay, so you, B sine of theta equal R F sine of theta. All right, so let's examine the angles now. Draw it again here. I'll put the solution here. Okay, so here's the dipole moment. Here's the magnetic field. B. Right. So this is the theta. We need the sine of it. So let's see if this theta is. What's the value of this theta? So this theta is here. And this is the same theta. So this theta is 90 minus theta. Okay. So we're looking at the for the um, dipole moment, which is I. And I equal I AB. So it's sine of. 90 minus theta. Okay, so this will be equal to, and the R is just the, if we said that the whole thing is D, this is D over 2, and the force is just mg, so we're looking at now the theta again. So the mg will be pointing down, this is mg, okay, let's connect this here. And this is theta. This will be 90 minus theta. So if we extend this more. 
So we need the, this component of the mg, which is perpendicular to the r. Right, so this is going to be 90 minus theta. So we need this component, which is sine of 90 minus theta. Okay. So now we can actually drop the sine. So this is sine 90 minus theta. So we can drop this now. So I, and then the A is just the um, the area of uh, square, which is, and this is D. So it's just D square, and then we have the B, right? And since in this question, then this um, problem, they told us what is N, the number of turns. So we're gonna multiply the um, multiply this by N too. So it's equal to D over two mg. Okay, so we can cancel one d. So it's i b d n divided by times two here divided by the g, and you'll get your mass. All right, cool. All right, I hope this helped and good luck. Oh, you didn't see this. Yeah, so. We were looking at this angle, which is the same as this one, and uh, we want this component of this vector, okay? So it's just the sine of this angle. That's why we could drop them here. Cool. All right. Sorry about that. Then. Good luck.